ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel i am starco gaming and we are back with another dragon champion video guys today we're going to be taking a look at night hill we're going to go over the runes build and how to effectively play her in uh on the game mode, we can actually think of that. But before we get into that, guys, if you're new players or below level 50 or level 15 or below level 15, make sure to use the promo code the star code to get $10 worth of freebies. To do so, it is very, very simple, guys. You go in settings, use promo codes, you enter the word star code. Then you press OK. And if you did not use another promo code uh, already, or if you are level 15 or below, you will not get this message. You will actually be getting $10 worth of freebies. Very, 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 very simple. So let's jump in here and let's take a look at my night tail. We're going to talk about the skills that are important to level up. We're going to talk about how to build her up. And uh, yeah, that is what we're going to be focusing on, guys, here. So here we go. So the first thing, uh, Night Hell is a meta for pretty much every single game mode, raid, PvP, uh, tower. Uh, yeah, I pretty much cover all, all of it so far with the game mode we have in the game. And this is definitely uh, one of the best character in the game. So as soon as you unlock her... Um, or uh or place you can farm or her mission uh, you want to start farming or hero stone as fast as possible because she will be very useful in the game especially when you unlock solius uh, you pair both of them together and they get a massive massive bonus guys so definitely you want to have night hill level up so today we we're gonna take a, a look at her skills first which skill should you level up first? First, our leadership. Is our leadership actually important? Our leadership is only important for one thing. It's for, I think it's the Ember mission. If I'm not mistaken, the one you actually need, the, the Elf. Uh, that is pretty much a dead legendary event. That is the only time really you're going to be using that leadership. So that leadership, is that leadership really that important? I don't believe so in my opinion because a team of elf will only be used in that legendary battle everywhere else you're not really going to use a team of elf so I guess getting that leadership up to uh, level 5 will be just enough in my opinion uh, if we look at our passive here um, our passive C that's where um, the importance of having Solius. Nightail remove one debuff from herself and Solius at the end of turn. Remove one buff from a random enemy if a Solius is on the battlefield. That is just crazy. Uh, oh, no. If Solius is on the battlefield, two buffs are removed instead. My bad here. I should have finished reading. So, you, if you have pair her with Solius, you actually get to remove two buffs from the, the other uh, tier team every single turn so uh this is actually pretty damn crazy it is pretty damn crazy this is a top notch uh, top notch uh, passive ability and this ability is definitely worth getting to level six then you have this ability here uh again this is mandatory to get that ability to level six if you want to build her up uh apply a damage increase to all eyes for two turns uh, the initial cooldown is reduced by one turn if you have that up and all allies actually get that damage increase so mandatory to get that skill to level six uh, then you got this skill here this skill uh great damage again to level six but if you get it to level five you still get decent damage and uh well you just have a reduced chance to actually apply ability blocks so um obviously it is better if you have a, a level six but level five here can actually do the job and then you have moon and star the last ability uh this one's not very important to get to level six level five is totally fine with that skill uh in my personal opinion because it does not give that much only 30 40 percent magic damage which is not that much and 20 percent chance to deal shield piercing damage so not that important but uh at least level five is fine so the priority for those skills are pretty much i will have to say first skill to get to level six second skill to let to get to level six 
that will be my priority and the other skills are fine at level five if you want to keep them at level five but you have to put a third skill on the list that will be this skill that will be the skill number three to get to level six personally i got them all to level six because i like to see that uh, the amount of power going up personally now the runes how do you set up your runes well that's actually pretty simple uh you want to give her as much critical rate and critical damage as possible and uh, if you can actually give her some extra potency that is always 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 useful so uh you want to do go through two critical rate to get the uh eight percent critical rate for critical damage for the 30 percent critical damage because her, her second skill just does so much damage that when you get a crit on that skill it is just amazing in my opinion uh so the primary what you want to have on northeast here uh first you want you don't want to have armor have anything to replace that i don't think i got a speed let's see I do like to replace that sometimes. I could actually replace it with that. Uh, will increase the damage, but uh, I'm gonna wait till I get a speed. Um, first priority, you want speed. That's pretty much what you want. Definitely not armor here. That's actually hurting my stats. Uh, so you want speed on the first priority. At the bottom, you want either critical chance or critical damage. Both are great, but I think critical chance a little bit better to trigger that critical damage, but both are great. And then this one, you want potency. You want a potency so your ability block get applied uh, from that uh, second skill. That is what's important, so you want to have potency on that one. You don't need potency runes, you know, like the two sets of potency runes i don't think you need that on her i think uh just having a like 50 percent potency is actually good enough and see if we look at what we got here see we got 60 percent 62.27 percent potency that is good enough for her we don't really need that much because it only affect uh the uh what's this called <laughs> the ability block and the ability block if you actually get the level to, the skill to level six well it's 100 percent chance to apply the ability block so you're gonna take the 100 percent chance minus the tenacity of the opponent which is usually around 30 40 percent so the 100 minus 40 percent for example will get you down at 60 percent chance to apply the ability block then you'll add your potency so you can see here i'm pretty much guaranteed to apply my ability block every single turn just with this setup so potency ruins is really will really be a waste on this girl you really want to build her up for damage so true to critical rate for critical damage is my recommendation a recommendation on this girl now how do you play her uh it's pretty simple you use a third skill and cooldown any game mode third skill and cooldown except if you have a uh, buff immunity applied to your team uh if you have that debuff applied to your team you want to wait till uh the buff immunity is released and you can actually uh, apply that damage increase to your team so you want to use that third skill to get all damage increase for two turns and then you want to use the second skill on cooldown and you want to target uh you know the targets that uh could actually use uh, like solius if you can ability box solius or uh you know characters like that or zira uh or more doom uh, um, a very good one to ability block to you want to try to do that with that second skill and then the first skill is a filler so third skill and cooldown second then the second skill and cooldown then the first skill as a filler and that is pretty much how you get a player and uh, it is in all game mode well except maybe on uh in guild raid when you're facing the big dragon uh you do not want to use the second skill until the buff is removed from the dragon then when he has his uh, damage reduction buff off that is where you're going to be using that second skill to do as much damage as possible but yes overall is third skill to get the buff second skill to get the crazy damage and ability block and then first skills to do a filler uh and that is pretty much it she is very very easy to build very very easy to play and she is one 
of the best character in the game without a single doubt so uh, hopefully this video was good for you guys if you have any question feedback comment make sure to use the comment section down below as always uh you all enjoy your time in uh, dragon champion guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video and hopefully guys i get to see you all again next time